Welcome to Sun Kaleo TV. What's going on? What's going on? It's been four years since I updated my YouTube, and it's been seven years since I talked about this topic when I told you guys how to optimize your PC to play video. Now, this will be the AMD version. I will put the link in the description for the NVIDIA version that I made seven years ago because the steps are exactly the same. Now, let's get started. I will be updating the NVIDIA video soon, though, but if you need something right now, that video is still valid. Now let's open up the AMD software. I am running the CPU and GPU here, so I will be doing both adjustments within this program. If you only have the graphics card and only or only have the CPU, just follow along with what I'm doing here the best you can. So for the GPU, it's pretty simple. Click overclock GPU, click proceed. Look, I'm gonna give you a warning. The program's gonna give you a warning. You know, you're running a risk. It's all at your discretion. If something goes wrong, it's on you. You know, it might void your warranty with you know AMD it's or Radeon itself, AMD itself or the actual store or Amazon or Newegg from where you bought it to be careful with um, overclocking. So once you understand those you know rules and regulations, click proceed, you know restart your computer and you'll be good to go. The other thing that you need to do also with your GPU is um, enable custom fan tuning. Reason being is that you know there's something called zero RPM and ends up not turning on your fans until a certain temperature. Since you're overclocked, you want your fans essentially running the whole time. That's how I have my setup, regardless of overclocking or not. It just keeps temperatures within the case lower um, and just you know helps keep the graphics card itself also cool. So what you would do is click custom, you would enable fan tuning, you disable zero RPM, like I just spoke about. You, you enable advanced control and then you click apply. So if you scroll down before you click apply, this is the temperature your fans start to kick on and it's only kicking on, you know, 30% of the fan speed. Now, once you click apply changes, that goes away. And now you're actually able to adjust the fan speed for what temperature your graphics card is at. I like to do this little curve right here. 60, 60 degrees Celsius is about where your card is going to be sitting at. So it should be at least, you know, around 60, 70% fan speed just to keep it cool. Now apply changes. And you're good to go those will immediately apply and you should hear your fans kick on right away now going over to the cpu this is just as simple essentially you could do the same thing just click overclock cpu it'll give you the same warning you know you click proceed it'll restart your computer and you'll gain it'll tell you how much gigahertz you'll gain when i clicked it i gained about 0 0.3 0 0.4 you know if you have a different cpu it might be more might be less it's all just subjective up to what you have in your pc um, or you can use the program called ryzen master now you have the what it would say in this corner for you if you've never downloaded it is it'll tell you just to download it you download it you click on it open it up like so and then it'll also give you a warning like i said before all your discretion you know no one it's all on you if something goes wrong so just take that into consideration if you're not comfortable with overclocking stay for the end of the video and i'll show you how to adjust the in-game settings so you click ok and it'll open up the program here. All I do is I go down to game mode, I click auto overclocking, I click apply, and I'll click OK and it'll restart your computer and you'll be good to go. So close this, close this and open up the game. We're gonna fuck with the in-game settings now. So you click this, I'm gonna have you guys copy everything that I have here. So this setup is I play PvP and PvE. Now, if with PvP, you can always lower the graphics. Having the lowest graphics possible is always better for PvP. Um, but overall, I play with these settings. You see my FPS is decent. It's obviously jumping right now because, you know, whatever. But copy these settings here. Medium, medium, FXAA. Just, um, pause the video if you need to. I'm going to go over to optimization now. Now, one thing you need to do is turn off the low power option. Make sure everything here is checked. Hit detection, all this is checked. Maybe go to workers and pets. Make sure you only show your pets. Um, if you don't have the greatest setup, this helps a lot. This is make this makes it or breaks it for some people. I've told people about that setting and they changed it and they, they've had a lot of luck with it. And also one thing you, you need to keep in mind is be mindful of is full screen and full screen window helps out your PC, helps out gaming in general a lot. Um, I run windowed because I have multiple monitors. I'm always moving programs back and forth. But for you, if you're playing this game, please run full screen windowed or full screen. It will help you out a lot. It can be, it can make it or break it for you. The 
outside of that, that's about all the settings that I can show you to help you out. If you're still having issues, put it in the comments below. And I'll try to help you out the best I can. But like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.